Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. So, guys, uh, today we are going to discuss about the, one of the most uh, important uh, interview question, that is, uh, how to find a given number is a palindrome or not. The logic will be similar to a reverse number, but at the end we are going to compare the number which is reversed to the number which is given by the user to verify palindrome or not. So without further ado guys, let us open, let me open the agenda for you, let me expand this. Now, the 8th one we have uh, put into in progress, now let's, uh, let's put it done, now ninth question, how to find whether the given number is uh, palindrome palindrome or not I'll put this in progress let me save the agenda let me close this let me open new text document let me expand this. First, we'll take uh, first we'll take a number from the user, right? So this number, let us make this as a dynamic number. We'll take we'll take CDBL double value so that even if you give the longest number, there is no difference. So I'll take input box. Uh, Enter a number to check palindrome. Let me take it. Let us take one temporary variable, temp equal to number. Now let us take do while loop, do while number greater than zero. One of the variable as uh, reminder equal to number mod 10. After the reminder num mod 10, we have to take one variable which reverses, right? So let me put reverse equal to reverse uh, into 10 and then we have to add the reminder just we did reverse into 10 we have to add the reminder the same way we did for Armstrong number so not in 10 plus reminder Now we'll do what? We'll do num equal to num mod 10. Okay. Uh, let me end the do loop. Let us check one condition here. If temp equal to, if temporary value equal to reverse, then we'll write a message box. The entered number is ampersand uh, ampersand number is the palindrome. Yes. So let me copy this. We write else condition. Don't want this much space is not a palindrome. Let me end this uh, if statement. Let me explain in the program. First, we have taken num, that is number. We have taken CTBL so that the user can enter 
more than the limit which is assigned for the integer, so it's CDBL. Input box enter the number with which a palindrome. So we are checking here palindrome, guys. Palindrome is nothing but I'll tell you what is palindrome here. Yeah, let me add a comment. Let me add some something here. Okay. Uh, if you if you have a number called one to one, so if you reverse that, one will come, then two will come, then one will come, right? So if the reverse of a number is same of the original number, whatever you user has entered, then it is called a palindrome. Let us see one more example. One, two, three, two, one. If you reverse this, one, two, three, two, one. It is exactly same to the main, to the original number which the user has entered, right? So this is called as palindrome. So one, four, four cannot be a palindrome because if you reverse it, it is, it is four, four, one. So this is one of the cases of non palindrome, right? So let, uh, let, uh, let us see now. So let us see the pro how program can progress and see whether the, the given number is palindrome or not. So let me save uh, palindrome.vbs. Save this. Close it. Click on palindrome. Okay, we got one error here. Let me edit it. So guys, yeah. For if we have to use then. Let me close this. Save, close it, palindrome. Okay, let me put it here. Let me expand the screen so that it will be visible for you guys. Enter the number to check palindrome. Let me enter 1, 2, 1. So it is showing now. The entire number is 1, 2, 1, and it is a palindrome. Right? So let me edit this and frame a sentence properly. The entered number is not one to one and and it is a pattern, right? It will it does make sense. So and it is I'll add it here also. I know it is going out of the screen, but I'll just add the same thing what I have added before, and it is a pandrome, and it is a not pandrom here. And the palindrome here. That's it. Let me close this. Let me double click it. Enter the number to the palindrome. Let us enter 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Uh, let me click on OK. Now, so you can see here the entered number is 1, 2, 1, 2 3, 2, 1, and it is a palindrome. Let us give some space. Let me edit it. Uh, let me give some space here. Let me save the program. Let us give a non palindrome number. Let it find uh, the, whether the entered number is non palindrome or not. Let us give 676. Six, no, no, six, 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 seven, four, three, right? So now it uh, rightly says the entire number is 6743 and it is not a palindrome. Let us see two more examples, guys, of non palindrome. Let's see whether the code is stubborn or not. Let me enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know. <laughs> of course, the reverse of this is never a palindrome. Let us uh, click on OK. Entered number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and it is not a palindrome. Okay. Um, let us uh, take one more variable, one more not variable, one more number, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So this is exactly same, right? One, two, three, four, five is the middle one, and four, three, two, one. Okay. Let me click on OK. okay. The entered number is this, and it is a parent. Um, guys, whenever I put the code in the description, if we, if the code has greater than symbol or less than symbol or not equal to symbol, uh, in the description the code uh, I'm not able to paste it. I'm I'm just writing it in a brackets that it, it is greater than or it is lesser than or it is not equal to. 
So whenever you take the code from a description, please make sure you replace that word greater than with the symbol or whatever the word is lesser than or not equal to with the symbol. Okay guys, um, let me minimize the screen. Okay. If you like the video, please uh, click on like button. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Uh, take care guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.